Hi, everyone. It's our last Mindful Monday for this series with Coach Linda. We've been talking about authenticity at work, and now we're talking about how do we build healthier relationships at the workplace. Come and listen. Hi, Coach Linda. It's our last Mindful Monday. <laughs> It certainly is, and I'm excited to to conclude our Mindful Monday sessions with this last uh, topic about relationship building. Yes, yes. Well, this is, we're ending it with a nice cherry on top because everything at work, really almost everything about our lives is about relationships and the energy that we give to one another, the energy that we pour into our work. And now we're talking about how do we remain our true selves and build healthy relationships at the workplace. So where do we begin? Day one or day 100 at your job, how do we focus on building those true relationships? Okay, so we go back to the beginning where we can just recap. We started off with um, knowing self because we did the exercise about our values and what we hold dear to ourselves. And we can't, we can't do those unless we actually know who we are and what we stand for. And that also helps us to set our healthy boundaries because that's self-regulation. And then from the healthy boundary setting about how we manage ourselves, how we show up, how we behave, and we choose our responses rather than to be reactive in our behavior, we then build the bridge into the interpersonal space, which is the workspace. And we do that through the bridge of empathy. And through the bridge of empathy, we create social awareness because if we know who we are, we can better understand other people's emotions because we know what our own emotions are. And further to that, it's also about um, being able to listen with, um, to deeply listen to what someone is saying, especially if they are in an emotional state or there's something that is emotional for them, rather than listening to respond. Because when they feel heard, they feel included and valued. And that's what we want, all of our relationships and our people, stakeholder engagement, whether it's internal or external, we want them to feel significant and heard. And from that, that's the springboard into how we build healthy relationships. Because healthy relationships are all about building trust, number one, and we will build trust if we show up consistently. Because if you show up as X on one day and Y as another, people are going to wonder, well, who's she going to show up as today? And now we've had so many talks about dispelling, getting rid of all the masks that we wear because we deeply, truly want to be authentic. And we want to show up with, as who we really are because we know we have the power to change whatever behavior we don't like about ourselves. But we can only do that with intent. So building healthy relationships is really important when we actually effectively communicate and we don't do ambiguous communication, and we say what we mean and mean what we say, but it's all about how do we stay true to ourselves while serving ourselves without disserving others. So it's how do we serve ourselves and serve others in the building of relationships? And we need to pay attention to uh, trust, building trust, and being consistent. Okay. Okay. But last Uh, piece of advice do you have for women and men out there that are struggling with being their authentic selves? My last piece of advice is it can be a very painful journey. And I'm speaking from personal experience. It can be a very painful journey to stop being everything to everybody because you end up with a lot of people not being pleased anyway, and least of all yourself. So we need to stop that, although we may be nurturing in our na- nurturing by nature and caring by nature or considered helpers by nature, we need to actually set our boundaries. And we can only do that when we do a deep dive into self. And as I said, it can be a painful journey because the more we learn about ourselves, it can be painful. We need to sit in the pain because through the pushing through the pain, we will learn self-acceptance. And through self-acceptance will come self motivation, self-love, self-compassion, and the things that we need to build up our resilience. And, and showing up authentically is knowing ourselves truly and deeply and being happy with who we are, because if we're not happy with who we are, we have the power to change. So getting to grips with that really uncomfortable feeling of who am I 
and looking at yourself in the mirror, doing the values test, making, drawing up your, drafting your life vision statement, you stop yourself from getting derailed. It helps you to set boundaries, which are healthy. And, uh, and I really would advise everybody to go on that deep dive into personal discovery. It's been fun and hard work doing that with you, Linda. And um, it always comes at very interesting times in our lives where even I was doing too much or being too much at work. And then it allowed me to really focus in on, all right, this is, these are my values. This is how I want to show up. And it really quiets the noise. So I can't thank you enough for helping me and helping others. If you want to work with Coach Linda, go to thecareersafari.com. She's there to be a career coach and champion, um, not just on the screen, but in your real life. Thank you, and everyone have a wonderful holiday season. Wonderful holiday season. Thank you.